Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are sharing five things we loved about Via Rail and two things we did not. All right, it's safe to say that we loved our train <laughs> trip on Via Rail and we got a lot of things to talk about here, so let's jump right into it. <laughs> we do. All right, well, the very first thing, we'll tell you our favorite thing right out of the gate, and that is the park car and the dome car. And so these are the uh, basically the equivalent to like the observation or sightseer lounges on Amtrak, and these were incredible cars. Yeah, what was, <laughs> what was your favorite thing about the park car? Um, the park car, gosh. It felt like you were in a home. So on one side, it had like that little uh, kind of bar area. And then on the other side, it had the couches. And then above, it had the, the seating with the windows overhead and the windows out in front. It was absolutely stunning. I yeah. mean, there wasn't anything that I didn't like about that particular car. Yeah, views all the way around, mm -hmm. both up and below, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then in the park car, it was basically, or the dome car, you had, it's kind of like was this, the seating section of the park car, but it was also had kind of a little lounge area down below, and then also the activities area was attached to that. Yeah, so the other thing I liked about it was that there was a dome car for uh, the sleeper car and for coach. Yes, I think that was amazing because I think the experience should be really good overall, even if you're paying a lot more money. It, I think it's okay. It, I think it's really good to have the experience also for those in coach, not just in the sleeper cars. That was really cool. And I could see whenever we were, you know, doing fresh air breaks, you could see there were a lot of people in that dome car in, in coach as well. Yeah. Second thing that we loved about VRL was the food. Mm -hmm. I think one of the best things other than just the good tasting food, one of the best things about the food on Via Rail is that they have rotating menus. Mm -hmm. So you you don't have the same options every day for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. You have different options every day. So you weren't going in there saying, oh, today I'm gonna get the hamburger. Well, maybe there's not a hamburger on the menu. Maybe there's something else. So I did really like that. What did you think about that? Yeah, I love the food and I love the mystery of what you were gonna eat. <laughs> <laughs> it kind of felt like you were on a cruise ship. Yes, yes. Kind of like that when you show up to dinner um, in the main dining hall, you don't know what they were going to serve you. You would just be like, oh, okay, here's yeah. my new options today. You, you, they always had good things. It wasn't ever a day where we were like, ooh, I don't like any of the choices. There was yeah. always at least one thing, and they had so many different choices from lamb to beef to chicken to vegetarian dishes there was really a lot to choose from. And the desserts even rotated. Oh my goodness, yeah. The, the desserts rotated too, you're right. I forgot about one of my favorites, which was actually not as good for me because once I liked a dessert, I was like, ooh, I would like to eat this again tomorrow. <laughs> that was the only bad thing about the dessert rotating is that I was like, because uh, they did have a really good carrot cake one day, and I was like, oh, I love carrot cake. It's my absolute favorite. So I was like, oh, I would really like to have this again tomorrow. And you could maybe ask for it if they had some leftover, but um, it was always fun to see something new anyways. Yeah. <laughs> Next thing we loved about VRL was mm. the long fresh air breaks. Yeah, so the thing is that they, the reason why they have long fresh air breaks is because they build in their delays into the ride. So you actually don't really know when you're late and when you're not because it's already built into the journey, right? Yeah, well you have, you know, when you stop in Winnipeg, you're gonna get two to three hours. When mm -hmm. you stop in Jasper, you're gonna get two to three hours. Edmonton, the same. So you have so much time mm -hmm. that if they do get into those cities late, you, you will still have plenty of time to get mm -hmm. off and you'll, and you'll get to go. Uh, do your do your fresh air break. Anyway. Mm -hmm. Not just yeah, not just on the platform either. You actually 
can go into town and do something. I mean, on several of them, people were going into town and eating at a restaurant or going and exploring different things in the city. So that does give you a lot of really cool options because you can kind of enjoy short snippets of the, the area that you're stopping in. Yeah, uh, and so we love the ability to get out and walk because when you ride on Amtrak, you can get to the end of the three days and feel like you haven't done any walking. But on V-Rail, if you get out in Jasper, Winnipeg, and walk around, you're going to feel like you actually got a little bit of exercise. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can walk for an hour or two if you want to and, and really stretch your legs. And that does feel really good. And I honestly think fresh air breaks make a huge difference when you're traveling on these trains because you can be really enclosed. And over many days, especially as many days as the Canadian is, it can, it can get really tiresome just kind of feeling like you're just locked up inside. So being able to go outside and breathe fresh air mm -hmm. and have a little bit of movement in your body is really nice. Yeah, so the uh, the next thing we loved about Via Rail is there are a lot more accommodation choices. Mm -hmm. Yes, and I, I think specifically also for solo and single travelers, there's a lot of really good options there too from Obviously they have coach and you can sleep up there, but then in the sleeper cars, you've got the upper and lower berth. And those are nice because you can get just one. You don't have to get both. You can get an upper or you can get a lower and there is a price difference between those. And then they do have a cabin for one. So you don't, it's not like in a roomette where you have to pay for two beds when you're only going to use one. They have a cabin for one and they also have the cabin for two as well. So they've got a lot. Yeah, they have they have more to choose from, which is great. And they have more that fits every mm -hmm. person's yes. uh, demands and, and, and budgets. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. and actually they do have the prestige. I left that out because that's pretty exorbitant <laughs> if you've looked yeah. into that one but they do have the prestige class as well if you're looking to spend a lot more money and you want just one bed on the one level and a different la layer of service but um it does have a lot of accommodation choices yeah we get asked a lot by people riding amtrak singles mm -hmm. if mm -hmm. you're if you're uh going to be in a roomette will you be sharing with people or can you yeah. get it and is it is the same price is it half the price it's actually not half the price right. if you're doing that you're actually going to be paying more for like one and a half people but on mm -hmm. vrl with the cabin for one or being able to reserve just the upper mm -hmm. or just the lower berth yeah. you're going to save a lot of money yeah so what is the fifth, our fifth thing that we loved we love the itineraries that <laughs> vrl has and, and the views <laughs> yes, absolutely. I think that itinerary is really nice how long that it is feels like a vacation and they make it feel like a vacation with all the other things that we talked about with the different uh, places that you can go other than your room um, from the food from the fresh long fresh air breaks you feel like you're getting to actually visit those places and I mean can enough be said about the views of what you're going to see <laughs> on this train ride I mean it is unbelievable breathtaking is an understatement yeah, I, I love the uh, the views on the the Canadian. Mm -hmm. Some of the best views I've ever seen on a train anywhere, and mm -hmm. uh, it's just something to behold and, and something mm -hmm. that you, you want to do for, once in your life. You want to take the Canadian for sure. Yeah. All right. So there were a lot of things that we loved about it. We probably could go on and on a lot more about it, but yeah. there were a couple of things that we did not love about it and what was the very first thing and this is probably the same thing for a lot of people even if they haven't been on it what's that <laughs> yeah the first thing we didn't love is that the price is much higher and it's much more hard to yeah. get a ticket on it because it's not available as much mm -hmm. yeah it is a lot more challenging for some reason you know well not for some reason we know why because it's so beautiful but people love 
to take this ride, the Canadian, uh, across Canada, well, from Toronto to Vancouver, and it's very popular. If you're trying to go in the summer, if you want to go this summer, you're not going this summer unless you already have a ticket. You're booking for next summer. <laughs> it is that popular. You couldn't possibly get a spot um, on it right now. You'd have to book off season, which is really crazy. And then on top of that, the fee, even though you're you're uh, doing the conversion from Canadian dollars to U.S. dollars, it's still a lot of money. Yeah, it is a lot more expensive, and mm -hmm. the, the train doesn't go every single day either. So, right, if yes. you have the uh, if you're going on the California Zephyr, mm -hmm. you're gonna have availability every day. Whereas on the Canadian, it's not every day, so that's why it's mm -hmm. a lot harder to get a, a spot on it. Yeah. Uh, the second thing that we didn't like as much about Via Rail is that you cannot eat in your room or even at a table uh, on your own in the dining right. car. Right, and you're on this train for a lot of days. Yeah. <laughs> so there are times, and we find this also, and I'm sure you do too, um, on your train journeys, is you just want some time to yourselves or just, you know, sometimes we just want to stay in our pajamas and eat our breakfast in our room you know and right. we do that on amtrak we cannot do that on the canadian and then not only that um honestly i'm not the the peppiest before i've had coffee and you show up at a table with two people you don't know and you want to have a conversation and i'm like i'm not ready for a conversation i mean i don't know how you guys feel but like i'm you know i'm a coffee drinker so i want to have my coffee before i want to chat with anybody even even between us i always drink my coffee before we even chat because <laughs> notice how emphatically he's nodding his head because you know you want to just have that kind of morning of just quiet and just kind of waking up a little bit it's hard when you're pushed into you know you're having a conversation you're not going to not speak to the people sitting right across the table from you and the same thing with all the other meals lunches and dinners you 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 are you know essentially forced to sit with other people so it's it's really hard yeah to so do that for every single meal every single is. day yeah it, it's hard to do it's hard to keep that kind of energy level going yeah. where you're meeting new people three times mm -hmm, a day, every mm -hmm. day. And, mm -hmm. uh, it's almost, it, it's kind of like uh, what I envision, I've never done this before, but I envision like what speed dating would be like. Like, <laughs> I feel like it was funny because you overhear people sharing the same portion of their story to other people. It's like, oh, those people sat with us yesterday. We're sitting with these people and the story they told us yesterday, they're now telling to those people and we're telling the same story we told yesterday to those people at lunch. You know, you could hear that, right? <laughs> the conversations yeah. going on around us. You were hearing the same things from everybody because it's what else are you going to talk about with a, with a complete stranger over a meal? Right. Randomly. So that was a little bit difficult, but there really wasn't a lot that we that we didn't like. That's why there's only two things we didn't like on this video. <laughs> yeah. So because there really wasn't a lot to pick from, mm -hmm. that was about it. We loved the Canadian, highly recommended mm -hmm. if you're going to pick a train to do in North America. Yeah. So. Guys, hopefully this helps you out as you're planning your trip. It just kind of gives you a thought about what what you can expect on the journey. And maybe you have different likes and dislikes. Leave those down in the comments for us. And if you enjoyed this video, give us a like, subscribe to the channel, and maybe we'll run into you on the rails.